the station, all of a sudden I heard a woman scream. And it's not like it was behind the house or in front of the house. It was just like in the air. So as I went to go towards the window, I stopped and I said, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. If I go towards that window, I'm going to see something that I don't want to see. But see it, I was compelled to go. And so I pulled back the curtains. It was on the second story. And I looked down and I didn't see anything. I was like, there's nothing wrong. And then when my eyes caught the stars in the heavens, all of a sudden, I'm just like a, a big movie screen and color. The moon appeared. And it's like someone took an ice pick and poked the moon. Then blood began to ooze out of the moon. And then all the stars in the heaven begin to fall all at once. And then the sky itself began to roll up as a scroll. And it was happening simultaneously. The moon turned the blood. The stars fall from the heaven. The sky roll up as a scroll. And all of a sudden, I seen a woman with long black hair. She was beholding what was happening, coming upon the earth. And she began to take her fingernails and dig in her face and scream and holler. Then I seen hundreds of people running, thousands of people running, and the horror on their faces. And what God allowed me to sense what they were feeling, total helplessness, total terror. And all of a sudden, the vision disappeared, and I fell to the ground, and I was trembling and shaking. I was like, oh, my God, what did I see? Sid, I didn't know anything about visions at the time. And I was like, what should I do? I said, maybe I get the Bible, get the Bible. And I was walking through the house. I said, please, please, Lord, don't let me see nothing else. Please, please don't. I thought something was going to come again. I said, please. And I got the Bible, and I just opened it up, and I went to Revelations, the sixth chapter, beginning at the 12th verse. And it began to tell about the day of the Lord and the moon turning to blood. And I was like, oh, God, I begin to look at that. And I said, Lord, Jesus, look what's happening. I've seen this with my eyes. And all of a sudden, I called my Uncle Eddie. He was a preacher. And I say, I told him what happened. He said, son, God just showed you a vision. I said, you mean to tell me I'm not going crazy? He said, no, you're not going crazy. He said, God gave you an open vision. Going to and fro in the land, mothers with their children going into the grocery stores, people pumping gas, businessmen with their ties and briefcakes going into the buildings. Then all of a sudden, a thick darkness and clouds started appearing upon the earth. And then all of a sudden, there was a sound from heaven, a sound that I have never heard before in all my born days. It was like seven claps of thunder, other than to one. The sound was so deafening, not only did it pierce the ears of all mankind, but it began to pierce their skeleton that when they heard it, their bodies began to shake and quake. And this sound was so deafening. People began to scream. Then all of a sudden, like someone took a razor blade and split the heavens. Then here come the Son of God with all his bands of angels and all his glory. Oh, see it, and the colors were glorious, splendid, magnificent, glorious, the blues, the golds, the greens. I I never seen such colors like this and he was coming speedily on the earth then people begin to urinate on themselves and scream and then one man say no 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 wait 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 I thought I had time I thought I had time but too late all time it ran out for all mankind another man he was like an Indian guy real short he began to say no 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 this is a dream this is a dream I'm gonna wake up but see it he couldn't wake up because he was already woke